Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Kitchen on another video, and welcome back to another episode of the Cartoon Corner series. The film I'm going to talk about today is a film directed by Wes Anderson. And I love Wes Anderson. I love his films. I love how each and every film that he has done is very unique to on its own. And something that's very different from all the films that I've seen in my shelves that is very unique is different. And that's what makes them really wonderful to look at. One of my favorite films from him is Moonrise Kingdom. And I love that film with my, all my heart. I do own that on the Criterion um, Blu-ray edition of that. And I already did a review. Link below one of my part of season one, basically, of the Criterion Corner series that I did. That's 17. And I'm here to talk about Spine 1025, The Grand Budapest Hotel. This is one of the films I miss on theaters. For whatever reason, I don't know why I missed out on theaters. This came out that the same year as Boyhood comes out in theaters. Um, the same year, basically, they came out. Um, yeah, there was a lot of hype going on this movie. A lot of people love this movie, and I and I waited, waited until they released on the studio release title um, that was released by Fox, and I saw that title because I got this. I I upgraded to this definitive edition of the film, and. I remember watching this movie for the very first time like it was yesterday. Um, I, I bought and blew it on Best Buy. It was like twenty dollars. It was a studio release. I I wanted I wanted to check this out. I wanted to check this movie out because I love. I started to watching a lot of Wes Anderson film. I got some Wes Anderson film on Criterion um, prior to getting the Grand Prix Hotel on Blu-ray from Fox, and I loved it. The movie. I I love the movie. I love the fact that I'm watching a very different movie from other films that I've seen from that year, that was 14. <sighs> the main reason I think I love this movie is that it's so engaging. It is engaging to watch. The characters that Ralph Fiennes and Tony Rebovi, um that plays in this movie, that the main focus in this movie basically, are such a dynamic duo. I just love them watching. I could watch them as long as I want it to be. Um, this, is, this is the type of film that I do not want to end. I do not want to end this movie. I want to keep going because the story is so rich. The, it's, it's just so much fun. It is a fun film that has a lot of great moments that I just adore. One of my favorite aspects of this movie is the relationship between Cersei Ronan character and Tony Rowley character, that couple that we see. I just love that aspect of that film. And the way that Suez Ronan character is very unique, that she has a, a birthmark of Shape of Mexico. Um, I love that, how that you can show the character how each as like each other individually characters are very different to one from another. And I just love that relationship going on with Suez Ronan character and Tony Rowley character. I just love their relationship. I just bought them as um, that the relationship that they they, um, they meet up again um, across, and I just love watching that. I could see a mini series of that, like a spin off for that movie, um, from for the characters that I, I love. And like after finishing this movie in, back in 2014, I just didn't want to end. I was kind of sad at ending the movie, but it did have an ending on the movie, um, to be honest. It did have an ending. And the cast alone is phenomenal. You got Angel Brody, Val Fiennes, you got um, Tilda Swinton in this movie. I mean, Willem Dafoe, the list goes on and on and on, it's just like every West Anderson film. Every West Anderson film, when you're going in, the cast is going to be spectacular. Yeah, I really love this movie. I really do. It's like every framing of this movie. It's like painting. It's like I'm watching a painting come to life. A short, a painting that tells a story. That's what the film is like. Wes Sanderson always knows what his vision is. He always knows what kind of shot he wants, what kind of imagery that he wants. Because the sets in this movie is spectacular to look at. And, I mean, there's a lot of heart. There's a lot of um, funny moments. There's some of the great dialogue in this movie that I just ate it up. And there's a lot, of, a lot of fun action piece, to be honest. That 
are very entertaining to watch. I believe this is the most action-packed film from Wes Anderson. Usually he doesn't do like action pieces of movie. He like to take everything grounded and small, small scaled. Like Moonrise Kingdom is a small scale movie. It's about these two young um, lovers, and that's that's the story. And here the the Grand Budapest Hotel is like a, a universe. It's like this world building in this. There's different hotels that that is that kind of kind of the Avengers spoiler. Um, that kind of the Avengers situation going on. Um, it's just hilarious to see. You get so many great um, cameos in this movie um, that are very. You can tell that's very Wes Anderson. That's very Wes Anderson, and I just love that so much about that. This movie, there's not a single dull moment. Not a single dull moment. It kept you in, it kept you invested, the story is so rich, it's so engaging to watch, that makes it more entertaining to watch. And the character is, is also entertaining to watch. I just love the banter between um, every character that interacts with. To tell the truth to our found character, the inter interaction is, is wonderful to watch. To Tony Romori, the, I believe, um, oh, it's like a, a, he's like an assistant, basically. I don't know what the word from, from the hotel. And he's like the assistant to the manager, Ralph Fiennes, um, to the boss, basically. And that interaction, that banter has so much heart. And you can tell that they're building up, they're building up a friendship that they care to one another. That that just is so engaging to watch. I just love that aspect of, about that film. There's so many funny moments, so many um, wonderful, wonderful moments, and some moments are very dark. And oh yeah, Jeff Goldblum is this movie. I I forgot that Jeff Goldblum is this movie. And he's great in that movie as well, as always. And for now on, like I'm hopefully in the future on I'm definitely gonna watch West Anderson film, a brand new West Anderson film on theaters, because I kinda wish I saw this in theaters. I would love to see this in theaters in theaters. And I know I'm back in the day I could not see this movie, they swear you are. I believe Sweet Art. Um I think Sweet Art, I don't know. Whenever this movie came out in the fourteen, I kinda wish I saw it in theaters. I know I I kind of was just, I mean, I couldn't see this movie in theater by myself because I was 15 when this movie came out and I couldn't see a radar film by myself. Because that's not possible because I was 15. And I don't think my dad would love this movie. Um, he had not seen any Wes Anderson film, my dad. But I don't think he's going to like it because it's different. Um, he's more like wanting to watch an action film. I love every film, um, every genre, every different kind of films. Um, this film is really special. It had a very nostalgic reason just for me to watch when I bought when I went to Best Buy, bought the the Blu-ray, the thirty release Blu-ray, and went home. I finished my homework and I went to watch the Grand Prix Hotel on Blu-ray. And it's a very special day for me because I'm like, ooh, a brand new Wes Anderson film, like a brand new, new, new Wes Anderson film. At the time it came out, that was a new film from him, and I was like engaged. I was into another world that's very different from other Wes Anderson films. Like his his films, every film that he makes is different from from each to another. Um, another, it's like they're they're multiverses. Like there's a fantastic Mr. Fox world, there's Moonrise Kingdom world, there's Butter Rocket world. Like he has a very unique mind, and I love that because he actually cares about the characters. He made the character very entertaining, very likable, very interesting as well. That each of the actors has their moment to shine, and that shine never let down. It was amazing to watch because the, the characters are so quirkiness. And I love the dialogue. The dialogue is so quirky and unique and different. And I just love that about it. It's like, it's like a painting come to life, basically. Like, literally. Like, the cover is literally like a painting come to life. Like, like it, represent, it represents the movie as a whole. And I love the story. It's like it's so simple. The story is so simple, yet it's so engaging to watch. And yeah, I'm not. I want to give spoilers because I want you guys to watch this movie for the first time, going in blind and just knowing nothing going on with this movie. And just know, just read the cast, just see the cast, and makes you that make that will make you interested in the movie. Because I remember I was looking at the B when I saw the cast. I'm like Jeff Goldblum. Oh my gosh, William Dafoe. Well, fans like Sirius Ronan, like great cast, 
and I thought it got me interesting, even though I already seen some Wes Anderson film before this. And yeah, I love this movie. I really do. I, I, it. And I'm so glad that Criterion got the rise and made it a definitive edition of the movie. Because I saw the Blu-ray when this was announced. Because I was like, yep, this is, I'm going to get this during the 50% off sale, which I did. I did get this during the 50, 50 I cannot speak, during the 50% off sale. And yeah, I love this movie. That's my thoughts on the Grand Prix Hotel. Um, I did share my little experience with this movie, what, how... What what make this movie so great? And I I absolutely love this movie. I really this is probably my second favorite Wes Anderson film. First being on um, Moonrise Kingdom. I love Moonrise Kingdom. You have no idea. That movie just that's hard. And this is the closest second. This is second place in my opinion. And I cannot wait to watch French the the French Dispatch, which has another yet a great cast. Um, Timmy Chalamet is in this movie. Sharon Stone is in that movie. It's in Moss is in the movie. I mean, Jeffrey Wright is in the movie. Come on. Wes Anderson has continued to never got a miss. He had not yet had a bad film in his filmography, which is crazy. The only film I have not seen from him is House of Dogs, and I'm kind of waiting on that for the Criterion release. And I know I was, I was, I was really planning to buy it on Blu-ray, the regular studio release, but no, I tried not to buy it because. I know they're going to release that on the Criterion Collection, and they're going to add that really soon. Hopefully soon, because um, this just came out recently, a couple months ago in the summer. Well, there you have it, guys. That's my thoughts on the Grand Prix of Tell. Love that movie. I really do. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more content like this, and have a great one, and take care.